Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. EA went absolutely all out again. Two days in a row, we have had insane content inside of this game. They're really looking to end the footies promotion with a bang, and they are exactly doing that. A 99-rated Conte yesterday, a 96-rated Renato Sanchez, 5-star, five 5-star, five also a 96-rated Ansu Fati objective. All of this coming out the day after they release a 99 rated Messi. Like, what happened with the EA content, guys? Did they just say, screw it, we're going to end this game on a high note, or what? I want to talk about all the stuff that dropped yesterday. How I thought the 91 times 5 pack was actually going to be one of the most exciting things of content yesterday. And it honestly fell behind a lot of this stuff. Um, even though it's still, you know, an upgrade pack that could, could provide some insane pack pulls. I think that people are doing Renato and they're doing Conte even before this pack. But a combination of all those SPCs made a lot of the market move. And I also want to talk about how it could continue today on Saturday and even with Sunday coming, what could be happening on this game with a potential R9 moments SPC. So again, yesterday's content was highlighted by these two SPCs. Footy's April favorite, Renato Sanchez. They actually dropped the card. He looks insane. Five star, five star, high, high work rates. This is perfect. Perfect, perfect for this weekend with the League One Weekend League and so many special cards that have been released lately that you can use in your squad to get those extra wins. And honestly, just a lot of your top tier endgame squads include some of these players after they have been released so everybody's doing this renato i mean you look at the upvotes on footbin the number of people that are that are completing this is insane 3100 upvotes for the renato sanchez card and if we take a look and see here renato sanchez has a 96 percent upvote completion rate the angolo conte has a 94 percent even the 891 times 5 has a 76 percent completion rate um, but I, again, I think that the content was carried yesterday by this Renato Sanchez and by the Conte. I mean, the Conte is insane as well. I was worried that Mane was going to win, but the voting came through and we got this beloved Conte 99 rated for Prem teams. This is going to be one of the best CDMs in the game. I mean, he's going to feel incredible. Um, I hope to get this SBC done as a part of crafting with upgrade packs this next week. We'll talk about that. We're one day away from hopefully ha hopefully having some upgrade packs. So Renato's out for six more days. Renato, uh, sorry, Renato and Conte are both out for six more days. That basically, these expire next Friday when the footies promo is kind of cut off. So a lot of the stuff you'll see in here, even this content that will come out through this next week probably is going to be ending on Friday because that will be finito for footies inside of FIFA 21. So Renato, Conte, and then this 91 plus times five. And the reason why I wasn't super hyped about the 91 plus times five uh, is that it's technically more expensive than Renato, I think. Uh, even though it says it's a little bit cheaper, I think it's made because you have these first two squads in here uh, and it has less chemistry. It technically needs higher rated squads than Renato. So um, that was the one annoying thing about the Renato SBC is the high chemistry that there was. Uh, but still, even with that, I feel like 300k, which is actually 260,000 coins for Renato, 230k for that 91 times five, and uh, Conte coming in at 337,000 coins. I feel like all this content that was released yesterday was good value. We were talking about Conte being maybe even 700k, and now he's 330k. So huge dub. GG's again to EA. They knocked it out of the park with just insane, insane players for multiple days in a row with, of course, Messi coming earlier in the week. And then this objective for Ansu Fati is just as nuts, right? 99 pace, 99 dribbling, 95 shot, 93 passing, 82 physical. People are all over this objective card as well. Uh, you can see again here on Footbin, 1,600 upvotes, five-star skills, four-star weak foot. Again, a pretty solid upgrade over his future stars item that was released earlier this year. I remember using this 92 and he was cracked. So I can only imagine how insane this Ansu Fati is for you Barcelona fans or Spanish fans or just need a link maybe to the Summer Stars Messi or Pat the Glory Griezmann along those lines. That's a really awesome card that was released yesterday as well. So it was kind of crazy, right? We knew that yesterday was going to be all about objectives and all about SBCs, but that's literally the only effort that EA put in. They ran lightning rounds yesterday 
regular pack lightning rounds. I think it was like 100, 125 Ks. And then I don't know what the third lightning round was, um, but they didn't do any preview packs. There were no promo packs yesterday that were previews, which I don't remember. I know when they extended preview packs uh, because preview packs were supposed to end like July 16th or something like that. Um, at the end of the um, Summer Stars promo. But then they said, hey, we're going to re-up these and continue them through footies. I don't remember when they said that end date was. It might have been yesterday. So if we don't see any more preview packs in the promo section uh, today, then I would think that maybe uh, preview packs are done. But since we still have preview packs inside of the standard section with the 5K and the 7.5K, and of course the bronze and silver packs, it doesn't seem to me that previews are like done. I just think that for whatever reason, EA is just even trying harder at this stage of the game to rinse cards out of people's clubs. They they didn't supply the market like at all yesterday. Uh, yes, there were some packs that supplied the market from, you know, doing the Renato SBC, doing the Conte SBC, but you don't get very good packs back from this. Two players pack, small Electrum, small gold, prime Electrum. So they're all players packs that you get back. But, I mean, that's really not supplying the market that much. I mean, you had Lille players going for max price today. I sold a 64-rated goalkeeper or something like that from Lille for like 8,400 coins. It was crazy. I mean, I think those Lille players are still up crazy high because they required one in one of the SBCs today. And, of course, with how much demand this Renato card has and how many people want to go out and do him, that's going to make that part of the market fly. So, again... Since there was no supply yesterday, you had SBC fodder on all levels absolutely exploding. Take a look at this. This is the index 81. 427 points on the index up to 634. I mean, that is huge. That is a huge, huge, huge increase in that index. It's massive. If you take a look at the index 82 as well, I believe there are like 82s and 80, like 83s even were selling for max price like in this time frame, 324 points all the way up to 460. I mean, you look at all of these, the 84s, they went up yesterday. I even believe some of the higher rated fodder went up um, because people are just getting some of these squads done. 86s didn't have as big of a jump at all, but they still definitely went up. And it just goes to show that all the content yesterday was all demand and very, very little supply. 83s are like 6K a piece. 84s are 10K a piece. These guys were like 6,000 coins a piece earlier in the week. Your Tots cards have gone up. That's more of like because of Messi and stuff like that. But man, rare golds are up uh, high like crazy. Rare gold center backs were like 4K a piece because these, the chemistry for the Renato SBC. So there were some incredible SBC prices that we saw yesterday with a lot of the stuff going up. And I think the reason why you saw a lot of the stuff go up as much as you did was number one, Yes, very, very desirable SBCs. Renato, Conte, a 91 times 5, which I'm still going to do this 91 times 5 later on in the week. I'm just going to craft this with upgrade packs because um, I really do not want to just go out and spend coins on this, especially when I don't have Renato or Conte done yet. I'm going to try to craft that later on. So that's my opinion of what I'm going to do with that 91 times 5. We packed Cristiano Ronaldo for somebody on a share play on the stream yesterday. So I'm still going to go after that because there's potential for the Neymar, for the Ronaldo, for the Tots Mbappe, for the 99 Firmino, right? You know that stuff is in packs. So we're still going to go after that one, but I'm not going to put as huge of uh, an emphasis on that right away. So that's my view on that 91 plus times five. I don't doubt you if you did it. My club is just not in a position to do it at the moment. But again, with all that stuff going crazy, um, it's, it's just like a huge SBC demand right now on this game. And what that also does is it sucks tons and tons of coins off of this market. You've got League One players right now that are buku crazy high in price because of all these links in this weekend league and with all of these cards i mean this is the this is the picture that was painted yesterday right can we take a look at some cards for a hot second acuna 98 rated 98 rated acuna was 289,000 coins we had two insane midfielders dropped yesterday renato and conte probably made people go out and change their entire midfielders and their teams this guy goes down to 180k i bought it i bought an acuna at 175 i think he only rebounded back to 204, but there was panic selling on even some of these League One cards for the weekend league. There was panic selling on literally everything yesterday. Militao was down to 320. He's back to 400K. Chilwell, I bought one at 58,000 coins. He's back almost to 80. 
thousand coins. Links to Conte, of course, right? Paredes was down at 60K. He's back to 85. Verratti was 135,000 coins. I sold mine way too early. This guy was just back to almost 180K. He went from 250 down to 140 and is now back up to 180. And again, with since we had this type of panic selling, what this tells me is since it just wasn't on midfielders, it was across the entire market. Um, like you saw... The Bruno Fernandez, that's a midfielder, of course, but let me find another example that I saw of cards that went down yesterday. Marquinhos Tots. Marquinhos' Tots card, a card very in demand for this weekend league, if I can find his item. He's not even on the front page, unless I missed it. But Marquinhos' team of the season, there he is. He's 80,000 coins. I bought like 10 of these today at 60K. Check this out. He was 80,000 coins, went down about 65, undercuts at 60. And then people are like, oh crap, I need to buy, to buy this guy back for the weekend league. So knowing how much demand there was for this card and seeing the amount of sell-off that there was without having a ton of pack supply for these cards to get packed and that caused their price to drop, it tells me there was a lot of panic selling. And that means that people had to sell cards to go do the SBCs and then they had to go buy the players back. So what's going to happen is, is that a lot of people are going to sell these cards off after Weekend League as more SBCs come out, as they want to interact with more content and they want to have coins to do things. And I mean, these like the whole market is going to drop even lower after this weekend because I think nobody's going to have coins. Now, the other aspect to this is, Yes, maybe people have done Messi and they've done Renato and they've done Conte and they have made their end game squads and they're not going to sell as much stuff. But I really think that some of these League One cards are going to peak tonight. I think you've seen the peak like right now with Marquinhos at 80K. Um, even some of the guys like Tots and Bappe, I'd be, I'd be kind of careful with them because they're still in packs depending on what we have coming the rest of this week. There's more SBCs that are going to be coming and more supply is going to come for some of these cards. I would just be careful with these because I do think that people will start to sell these off today on Saturday as they start to get their weekend league games done. And of course, people are always worried about losing coins. What, wow, one five undercut on Neymar. He was just 1.55. Um, but people are always worried about losing coins this game. And especially with the League One cards we've seen with the Premier League, Bundesliga, La Liga, Serie A, every single league, how the drop-offs happen. I still think there's going to be a lot of drop-offs after this weekend. So just be careful with some of those cards. I think you will see some panic selling and some prices dropping today, um, especially on those League One items. Uh, just seriously watch out for those since that League One weekend league is so prevalent. I think that'll be starting today. Now, what this guy, Phil Foden, was 200K flat yesterday in the panic. Uh, and he rose back up to 260, 250 where he is now, right? So even some of the Premier League cards, cards that are completely unrelated to a lot of the, the content that was released yesterday, uh, or even just slightly related, had good market movements as well with just a lot of panic selling and then a rebound on those items. So watch out for panic selling on League Ones today on Saturday. I don't even know how EA is going to do this again, man. I mean, they can't release another like insane SBC like they have the past two days. We've gotten Messi, Renato, and Conte. What's next? Like, I really don't even know what's next. That's going to be pretty interesting to see what they do today. But the big news and what's upcoming next that a lot of people are focusing on is the next Icon SBC because it is rumored. Uh, it is rumored uh, because Renato and Messi were both rumored. It's also rumored that R9 Moments could be getting and will be getting an SBC on Sunday. So, I don't know how many squads they're going to ask. I don't know how expensive it's going to be, but I know fodder is up and, you know, R9 was probably going to be the most expensive icon moments SBC to date. So if Pelé is 29 squads, I, I hate to say it, but we might see like 35 for R9. Who knows? Because his price still on the market is about like eight to nine million coins. You're probably going to see more selling and more panic selling as we get towards Sunday on that R9 moments card. If that's something that you're interested in. That SBC uh, is is going to be dropping, I think, on Sunday. But again, it's going to be it's going to look stupid expensive unless they price it really cheap, like they did with Conte and stuff. Just because the way everything is in this game, and the way fodder is, and the way prices are. So again, I expect prices to drop off today. I expect fodder to just you know people are still kind of crafting the messy SBC. People are still going to be working on some of these other SBC cards like Renato and like Conte. It's going to take a little bit of a grind. For them to get those items stacked up. Actually, you know what? Let me check just regular rare golds. Let me do an Amrabat check really quick because he was down earlier today. 
Yeah, man. Look, some of these lower rated golds, a thousand coins, 950. This might be an absolute cracking time to get involved with some of these lower rated rare gold cards. Actually, this is an insane investment right now. I would get on this because um, we're going to get some sort of upgrade packs coming later this week. These lower rated rare golds. Wow. That's actually insane because 87 times 10 SPCs are still in the making. People are still doing those. And uh, this this is really cheap, man. So rare golds look like an incredible buy at the moment. If you want to stack up, go on a sign to be my guest because uh, that's going to make doing upgrade SPCs, whatever comes out on Sunday, tomorrow, whatever comes out, it's going to make it a lot easier to do those. It's also going to make 87 times 10s a lot easier. Even though you have the squad ratings in here, you know, you throw a TOTS player in and you rinse with like 78 and 79 rated rare gold cards, it's going to make it a lot easier. So that's 100% what I would be doing if you wanted to prepare for what could be upcoming this weekend. I would be doing that um, without a doubt. So Again, crazy, crazy day of content yesterday with all the player SBCs, with just the content EA has been dropping, and it's 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 fitting for this time of the year, right? We're having insane SBCs. This is what we want at the end of the year inside of FIFA. So we'll see how they continue that today on Saturday. Um, probably a player SBC would be the, this form of content I would expect the most. Other than that, no. Other than that, I'm not entirely sure what they could be doing today. I feel like it won't be that insane of a day since they just had three nuts days of content and then maybe they let it chill for a bit let everybody finish sell off their weekend league teams and then go from there but that's the video for today boys if you did enjoy it smash them a thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new it's been nate's foot account and i'll catch you guys later peace out